stay in. I swear, Let's get it. I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from <laughs> after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. That's a bit disrespectful, Triple H. Hey guys, hold on a oh, second. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that. It's Kurt Angle and Daniel Bryan's son. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into <laughs> early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. Yes. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? Exactly. He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown or Raw the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. Haha. <laughs> yes! Yes! So Screw what's it gonna NXT. be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. Yeah. You know I'm going with SmackDown. That's where the money's at. This has been an emotional night, and uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! Uh, yes! Yes! Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank Maybe you. I will. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable. Yes. So. Out of all that, I get an opportunity to showcase my skills at SmackDown, baby. <laughs> what a blessing. God is just so good. When one door closes, another one opens, man. So I'm going to SmackDown. It's been a live, long life dream for Buzz to make it to WWE. All right, so... I was I got I got a, I got a few messages I gotta check real quick. I got some messages. Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so sorry. Okay, I I panicked when you got the WWE offer and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish and uh -huh. I know I screwed up big time. You know how I feel about this? I'm ignoring that. I swear. Okay, so my phone's been blowing up, and it's all this guy right here, man. Dude, why you why you blowing me up like that, man? I don't want to talk to you. So I need to go to my tree real quick. Oh my God, I got 15 points. We about to get some upgrades in my life. Hold on. We gotta get some upgrades here.
Actually, I'm going to zoom past this real quick. Let's get it. I came so close earlier to the line. All right, let's go. We're going to start this over again. Let's go. The has an opportunity to become time. number one contender for the United States Championship. Oh. How did he qualify for this match? He literally just walked in the door. You'd have to take that up with Daniel Bryan, Corey. Look, I know he got signed to SmackDown Live using somewhat questionable methods, but I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Clearly on a mission here. I'm just trying to win this match, guys. So I can go ahead and get my U.S. Uh -oh. championship. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Ah, he was about to get the DDT. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. Oh, oh, nice reversal. I like that. Believe me, getting thrown like that will change his oh, attitude in a hurry. Nicely done. I'm taking out everybody. I don't care. Friend, foe, enemy, everybody it's coming got now. Nicely executed. Oh, I think this man means business. Look at that tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. And there's an extremely destructive strike. Out the way. German suplex oh, release. Oh, my God. Todd Dillinger wants to hit This me. is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. I think things are about to get turned upside down. I think you are correct. So painful. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Dude, I keep calling Man, Todd Dillinger. What <laughs> offense. Look at that. What does Baron Corbin need to do? Oh, I think this man Baron. needs business. I will help that you. That almost came out of nowhere. I don't make it the same no more. Ah, no. Oh, Mahal is looking to end this. Baron's out. Yes. He's inflicting some serious pain here. But he's got to capitalize Baron's now. Corbin's out. He was a strength. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. This is what makes him one of the together. best in the business. Yes. It's got to be hard to rebound from that right one. Now. Mojo Raleigh looks to be in some pretty bad Ooh. trouble here. How can he get out of this? Ooh. He can't be that's happy with kid. how this is going right now. Nothing good happens outside the ring, which is Ouch. why I love it when guys go out there. Things are going to heat up now, fellas. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron you was saying. You want to help me out? Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the Jeez. ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. So damaging. Done with you. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. Now it's Xavier Woods in defense mode. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around. Oh, oh I think this man needs breaking. business. That creates a big opening here. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Oh, too quick for him there. He's left wide open here. I don't think yeah. he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. As Corey continues to criticize the yes. action in the ring, allow me to take the and other I side of the yard. Yes! Takes the it. Battle Royal. I won the Battle Royal. So now I give my opportunity. Guys, I deleted part of this video. I didn't mean to delete. <laughs> but uh, you're looking at the new number one contender months. for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live! He didn't even pin like anyone. Carlito. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. And I did it. Uh -oh. Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too That's impressed nice. with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope.
Okay. So Mr. Glorious himself came out to congratulate me. I appreciate that, man. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. Here, and we've baby. learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. <laughs> Oh, I get to talk? Oh, I'm, I'm delivering blows. <laughs> I'm not making friends. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. I'm here to the win. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ooh. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Brett the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, Woo. the American Dream, yeah. Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo. Those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. champion. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. Exactly. So when I become U.S. champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious. I love it. Uh oh. Did you say glorious? This should be good. Okay. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week. Get lucky by winning a battle royal. <laughs> and then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? <laughs> you said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your Look, stupid dude. rookie Nothing. mouth. Dang. Because you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't heard that one before. Okay. No disrespect. I've me. been at this for 20 years now. Wow. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring night after night. This is a better What have you been doing? Wrestling actually... one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym? So you have no right to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase. Because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. Is... What do you have? Oh, this that's is... right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Wow. Ooh. Seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why? So you can say your catchphrase? <laughs> Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our U.S. title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you? The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. Iron I'm proposing match. a match that's the ultimate in-ring test. No match against you will ever be a test. But Ooh. please, continue. Okay, if you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. Let's go, baby. Yes, yes, yes. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man <laughs> match. I'm talking mess. I don't care. I'm coming in here next week talking.